Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for the 365 days of eyeshadows challenge. I just started this challenge last month. This is a challenge that was started by Jessica Lee and I will leave all the information in the description box below. So as I mentioned, I just started this challenge last month. It's kind of like replacing my pan that palette tiny pans because I finished my palette for the year, which is so exciting. It will be in my August empties and that'll be like an amazing thing. I've never finished a palette in the year that I panned it. Anyway, so for this project, what I decided to do last month when I started it was basically just to pull five palettes, four of which were kind of randomly selected from my collection using a website called Wheel of Names that I would just work on throughout the month. And my goal was to really just use each palette twice and I would kind of keep track of which shadows I used and, you know, try to use 30 ish, 31, whatever shadows for the month. And like I said, the goal really was just to use each palette twice because I, you know, have other things that I'm working on. I had decided to change things up just a bit. Oh, and, and I forgot to mention one palette. So I, I brought in five, four of which were randomized, one which I selected myself. Just like, I wanna play with this particular palette, so I selected a palette. I decided to change things up just a bit for a couple of different reasons. One of which was I got Play, got to playing with these palettes and I was like, you know, I think I'd like to have some other shades to play around with. And I brought in a shadow into my monochromatic year project. And it's kind of a silvery, glittery, mostly green, like a very light green. And I was like, well, this is, that was kind of fun to like find a look to go with it. So I thought it would be fun to bring in my singles. And not to say that I want to use all the singles in the month, but just to have them in case I want to play with them. So I'm going to bring in like 15 singles, randomly selected again. So I want it to still be random because I kind of like that. And if I reach for the singles, great. If I don't, it's fine. But I just want to have them to play because otherwise the singles will just get like forgotten. And I did, I'm sorry, my ear itches. I haven't worn earrings in so long. I did remove the shadows that I've already used so far this year. So if they were in my like project 10 uses. I took those out of the list cause I've already used them. So those aren't in the list, but if they haven't been touched at all this year, they were included in that list. Now, what I did not include are cream eyeshadows or liquid eyeshadows or anything like that. So for right now, those aren't being included. Anything that would go into like partners in cream, I'm not including. Cause I really want to, I don't have a lot of those other than like my Stila eyeshadows. And I tend to pull, I can pull those into projects like here and there. I really want to focus on my powder eyeshadows cause I have so many of them. So anyway, that is what I plan on doing. So we're first going to review the palettes I used last month and I'll showcase the palettes, what shades I used. And then we will pick new palettes and then we will pick new single eyeshadows. Okay, so let me share with you the palettes we had last month. Okay, just to review, the palettes that we had come in last month, these were the ones that were randomly chosen. The Tartlet Lil Bloom palette, and I'll show you what these look like here in a little bit. The Natasha Denona Glam palette. The Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. The Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves palette. And lastly, the one that I selected, on it was the Pat McGrath Divine two, Rose 2 palette. Okay, so let's start with the Tartlet Little Bloom palette. So this came as like a trio at the during the holidays, I should say. 
And here is what this one looks like. And I use so I used all of these palettes twice. And then sometimes I dipped into some of these, like I, I dipped back into these palettes if there were shades that I still wanted to use. I think I used every single one of these except for this one. And I forgot to mention, I ended up using 42 shadows last month. So I'm not sticking to 30 or 31. I'm just using what I use, right? So I used 41 shadows last month. So getting back to this palette. The first time I used this, it was a very quick throw on makeup because I figured this palette, it only has it has four mattes and so we've got a matte here a matte here a matte here and then this dark matte so as you can see there's like three light mattes and then one very dark matte and so i was like okay well this will be a great like no makeup makeup palette so i used it on a day where i was just throwing on makeup but what I found is these shimmers need a tacky base. Like I tried it without and I was like, oh, this is bad. I mean, they would not stick to my eye at all. And so I was very disappointed in the quality. I was like, this is really, really, really bad. And I almost at that point, I was like, oh, I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> like right away. But then I was like, no, don't do that. Try, try it with a glitter base, like a tacky base. So I did. So let me grab some glitter glue. So I have my Too Faced glitter glue. All right, I lowered the camera because I feel like, I felt like it was too high. That's kind of probably kind of weird. Okay, anyway. So now let me go back in with some of these. So you can see how much I mean, this one here looks all right, but the rest of them were woeful without a tacky base. So once I used the tacky base, they were, I mean, it looked so much better. The only thing about this palette is the mat, like the, the mats, right? They are, it's so, it's, I mean, it's like you go from light, light, light to just like this really dark brown. But I think this, other than the dark brown, this is a really great, just like I said, every day I just need to throw on my makeup palette. You can use your bronzer to deepen up the outer corner if you need to. So I think it has its place. I don't need a, I don't know that I need these giant pans for that type of you know, palette that the type of palette I'm, I'm talking about, because these are pretty big. I mean, they're 0 0.043 ounces, 1.2 grams. But you know, I enjoyed the look, the second look I did when I used the tacky base. So I'm keeping it it's staying. And like I said, I used all but all the shadows except for that one gold. This one here. And I just don't do gold very often. And I'm currently panning a couple of gold shadows. So, okay, now let's get into the Natasha, De Natasha Denona Glam Palette. FYI, I suck at taking pictures of like eye looks. Like, you know, you take a picture of the eyes. So I'm going to try to, if I can, find pictures of the days that I filmed where I know I had eye looks from these palettes and throw them up. And it'll probably be at the end. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I may put them here. I may put them at the end the, where I can show you the shadows, the shadow names, because I, I did in, brought, like, make note of which shadows I used on those days. So we'll see. Anyway. I'll do, I'll try to do better in terms of taking pictures whenever I use these palettes. So here is the clamp palette. I'll get better, I promise guys. Okay, so this is a really pretty palette. My only struggle with this palette is I don't think this is the season for it, for me. It's a very like cool tone palette and not like purple cool tones, right? I can do those like anytime 
except that if they're gray, this is a very grayish, gray leaning palette, I should say. A lot of the shades are. So the few times, the two times that I wore it, I struggled with having a look that was season appropriate. And so that was a challenge for me. I think it's a better palette for winter. And I, but I did use all but like four of the shades. So like I didn't use these two. And I also didn't use these two at the end, but I used everything else. And I mean, these are very beautiful. They're very beautiful. I mean, the shimmers are very, very pigmented, very nice. The mattes are stunning, but again, I think that it's a better palette for me in the winter. Sorry for my ring light. Let me push this up. Maybe it won't be so in your face. So anyway, I'm. it's obviously not going anywhere, but again, I think it's better for me in the winter. Enjoyed, enjoyed it, but we'll try it again in the winter time, I think. Now the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. This one... I think has its place. Here's the palette and I should show you what the palette looks like. But I, this is a companion palette. It's not a palette that I use on its own. And I think that's where I struggled with this because I was like, well, I'm, this is a, you know, it's a companion palette. It's not a palette that I like this, this middle section I struggled with except for like this shade here and the shade here. The black and even the light, the white shade. I used the white shade to set my eyeshadow one day and I was like, oh, that's really white. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, you know, it was, it was a great companion palette and I think it's great to like have on your vanity when you need those kinds of shades, but it's not a palette that I would use on its own, if that makes sense. So I used all but, let's see, two shades, no, three. So I didn't use, so I did not use these two shades here or the black. But again, it was a companion palette. It was not a palette that I used on its own, but I still dipped into it several times. Okay, next up is the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves. Now, I actually broke the sh I broke the shadow that was already broken in here again. So the shade Wine Stain, which is this one, I had to repress. It fell between my vanity and the wall over here. And as soon as it happened, I was like, oh, that shadow broke. <laughs> so I ended up repressing it and it's fine, of course. But this is beautiful. I used, I think, all five shades in the first look and then four out of the five shades a second time. It's beautiful. I could use, I could wear this palette any time of the year. I love it. I, you know, that beautiful monochromatic look. It's stunning. Not going anywhere. And I actually used the little pencil or pencil brush in here. I didn't use this end, which is ridiculous, but I did use the pencil brush. I was like, oh, I can use that to smoke out the lower lash line. Love this palette. Oh, maybe I should swatch this one for you. This one is great. I mean, it's like you can absolutely get just a gorgeous look with this. I don't remember if I swatched this on the, in the last video. I love it. I love it so much. All right, and the last palette is the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette. This is stunning. I mean, it is stunning. This is a little bit of a challenging palette to show because the mirror doesn't go all the way back, but it's gorgeous. I think I used all shadows except for Gold Dust, which is this one here. And this is just a really, I mean, it's a very, very gold shadow. And I just don't wear shadows like that, to be honest. Now, not to say that I would not try and play around with it, 
but it's just not a shadow that I shade that I typically go for. But I loved this. Now there was one video and I'd have to go back and look to see which one it was. I will throw it up in the cards where I was wearing this palette and I had sex terrestrial, sex terrestrial, which is the shade here and it's in the palette. It is this one here. It's a multi-chrome and everybody was like, I love that green flash in your eye on your eye look. And yeah, it was this one. It's stunning. And honestly, I didn't realize that you could see the green flash until I was editing that video. I was like, Oh, what is that? And I realized it was that shadow. Stunning. Gorgeous. And I mean, everything in here is so pretty. Uh, I think the first look I used that sextra terrestrial is that right? shade. And then the second look I was kind of featuring this, the pink shade, which is Rose Seduction. And uh, I think with Rose Duck Seduction, I used Astral Pink Moon. And what else did I use that day? I want to say potentially Eleganza. Oh yeah, this palette is beautiful. It's really beautiful. I'm so glad I have it. I'm sure everybody has seen it, but might as well swatch it because it's so pretty. The only thing I don't like about these palettes is you have a card with all the color names, shade names on there. I don't like that. But anyway, so from top to bottom, we have Skin Show Rose Opal Naked Blush. Here, let me see if I can do this. Naked Blush, Eleganza, Bronze Rose, Gold Lust. Extreme Burgundy, Divine Dusk, Rose Seduction, Sextra Terrestrial, and Astral Pink Moon. Oh lordy. Can I keep my wrist straight? Jeez. So yeah, love this palette. Beautiful. So now let's pick our next five palettes. The first four will be random. And then the fifth one I will pick on my own. I have no idea what I'm going to pick. So let me grab my iPad. So I was going to try out a new process of like doing a screen record on my iPad, but I haven't really found a right, a good app. If anyone has an app for screen recording on the iPad, let me know. But so far I've only found one for the phone. That's Good. Anybody else shopping the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty? <laughs> okay, we have 175 palettes to pick from. Now, I only put in palettes that were five pans and up because I really want to work on my larger palettes. I may at some point bring in the smaller ones, but for right now, we're working on larger palettes. And we'll get to the single eyeshadows here in a minute. But again, we have 175 palettes in the wheel. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So we're doing four. Busy Art Trist palette. Okay. One. J Cat Beauty Melrose Avenue eyeshadow palette. That thing is gigantic. There's like 30 something shadows in there. It's like a 31 shadow palette. It's like a Morphe palette. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one because I need to decide if I want to keep it. Two. Lorac Mega Pro 4. Oh, we got some big ones. Okay. Three. And then Milani Pure Passion. Okay, four. I'm going to save the Lorac Pro 4 to next month because I don't want to have two large palettes in one month, but I will use it next month. So I'm going to roll again and hopefully we won't get a large palette. But I really only want to have one large palette in the month because I, I want to be able to use them as much as I can. Okay, Lorac Black Tie Attire. 
All right, so those are the four. And again, I'll push the Lorac, the other Lorac palette, the Mega Pro one, to next month. And then I will surprise you with my fifth. I have no idea what I'm, I'm gonna pick, but we'll see. Now let's do the single shadows. So as I mentioned, we're going to do 15, which yay, I'm so excited. Watch, it'll be like all neutral shades. <laughs> Don't jinx it, Jalon. So here we go. We have Wheel of Names. Now we're going to select 15. Oh, I need to change the... Dang it. I need to do that. Oh, it hasn't done it yet. It's still thinking. Okay, so this is a random pressed pigment that doesn't have a name for it. And it's in a gray shade. Okay, so let me change the timing on this. All right, so now we're number two... MAC Eyeshadow in Swish. I don't even know what that shade looks like. Kiko Milano Long Lasting Wet and Dry Eyeshadow in 208. I think I just used that. Yeah, I just used that. I forgot to take that one out. Sorry for the ring like layer. I'm gonna f I'm working on that, by the way. ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in arrow another color pop super shock shadow in catnip it's a metallic one in catnip makeup geek foiled eyeshadow in starry eyed hmm MAC eyeshadow in girly. I have a lot of MAC eyeshadows. I think I started out with like 373 or something like that. ColourPop pressed shadow in let me explain. Another ColourPop press shadow in heavy glam. By the way, I have a lot of ColourPop and I have a lot of MAC. And I'll, yeah, those are the ones I have the most of. Another Clopop pressed shadow in Try Me. Oh, I decluttered this, right? I think I decluttered this. Yes, I did. I don't know why it's still in my inventory. Cleona Cosmetics eyeshadow in Translucency. Cleona. <laughs> NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Girl Talk. Hmm. MAC Eyeshadow in Pinked Mauve. Okay, we have three more. Natasha Denona Duochrome Top Coat in Brown Mauve Purple. Hmm. I don't know if that's dried out. We'll have to see. MAC eyeshadow in Jest. That should not be in there more than once. And Luxie Beauty eyeshadow in Bohemian. Okay, let me pull the palettes. Let me pull the one I'm bringing in and let me pull these eyeshadows and I will be right back. Oh my God. That took forever. Do I still have lipstick on? <laughs> that took forever. All right, let's talk about the palettes first. So the first palette we pulled was the Viseart Trist palette. So here is the palette, and sorry for the reflection. And let me see if I can open it. <laughs> let's see, let me take off the sleeve. Here is what the inside looks like. So it's a pretty warm toned palette. There's a little pop of purple here with this one. It's a pretty like cool toned purple. There's a nice peach here. Um, let me just swatch these. Ooh, that's pretty. 
This looks like a really beautiful, like, duo chromey shadow. So those are just some of the shades, but this is really pretty. Now there's three mattes, one of which has like some sparkle. The dark brown has some sparkle in it, but you know, that usually just like buffs out whenever you're doing your eye makeup. And there's what, six shimmers. This one looks pretty too. Yeah, I just swatched this last shimmer, which is this one here. Are you focusing? Yep. So anyway, yeah, so that is the Trist palette. And I don't like it because it has this like extra sleeve thingy that comes out, but we'll just stick that back in there. The next one we pulled is the J Cat Beauty Melrose Avenue palette. I think I said this was like a 31 palette, 31 shadow palette or something. Whatever, whatever the ones, the Morphe ones are, however many the Morphe ones are. I cannot speak. It actually is 24. So it's in this like traditional, you know, lame black packaging. But here is what the inside looks like. Oh, <laughs> ah, there we go. So none of these have sh like names for the shadows. So, I mean, this, I'm, so many times I've been like, I should declutter this. But then I swatch it and I'm like, it's pretty. It's really pretty. And now I don't know the quality because I haven't played around with it. So, you know, this is what, this is what this is for. So here are some of the mats. Ow. My arm's a little wet. And then I'll do some of these shimmers. I mean, it's right up my alley. You know what I mean? That's why I've kept it. But I think I remember seeing somebody review this and they were like, it's not good. But, you know, everyone has a different has different thoughts on quality. So I was like, I need to try it first. So anyway, that is this one. Now, I don't know if I'll get through all, all of these shades, of course, but I will get through as many as I can. I think I got that from Ulta ever ago. Next one we pulled was the Milani Pure Passion Palette. So here is the packaging. Very reflective. Oh, you can see my vanity. <laughs> my dirty vanity. And here is the palette. This is gorgeous. It's very warm toned. Now, it's still hot here in Texas. It's, you know, even though it's September and everyone's thinking fall, it stays hot here. So even though this is this is great for a fall toned palette, it's not fall here yet. <laughs> but regardless, I will still use it. And I'm just gonna swatch a few of these shades. There are like six mattes and six shimmers in here. So let me just swatch a few of these mattes. And then we'll do some of these really pretty shimmers. So yeah, really pretty. I'm excited for these shimmers to actually use in conjunction with some of the looks. <sighs> There's fuzzy. I'm excited to use that palette in conjunction with some of the eyeshadows I'm panning for Panning Every Palette because I don't have a lot of darker, like outer corner eyeshadows like that I'm currently working on. So it'll be perfect for that to use some of those darker shimmer shades. Okay, so the next one, I feel like my arm is getting like irritated. <laughs> okay, the next one we rolled was the Lorac Black Tie Affair palette. So this is one I was close to decluttering at one point. Here is the palette and here are the shades. Very basic, very, very basic. There are, what, three mattes and four shimmers. So, you know, it's pretty, pretty boring, but some of these are really pretty. You know, I mean, I, I can't. It's pretty. 
So we'll see what I think about this. You know, it could be more of a companion palette because like this is a matte, this is a matte, and then there's the white and that's it. It could be a good like no makeup makeup look, like palette I should say. I don't, I think that's a matte. Yeah, the white is definitely, like, I'm not using that. The white, no. But anyway, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what we like, you know, and if I don't like it, I'll declutter it. That's the point of this project. All right, so now the one that I picked to bring in myself. I was I was thinking about what to bring in, and I wanted to bring in something a little more colorful, because, you know, like I said, it's not quite fall here. And I, having just started this project last month, I was like, I haven't really gotten to play with a lot of my colorful palettes. So I brought in this Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. So here is what the inside looks like. And I'm really excited for this. So not so much for like, that shade like I'm not gonna use that puke yellow shade no that's not that's not a pretty look on me but everything else sure yeah it'll be interesting to see how that purple those are the mattes it'll be interesting to see how that purple works performs I should say because you know sometimes purples perform like crapola and then let me get some of these shimmers and Seychelles is pretty. Oh, and another one I probably wouldn't use is, whoops, this one here. That gold and in inheritance. I just don't do golds on my gold, like that bright of gold on my eyes. I think I've mentioned this before. Oh, those are so pretty. I wanted to play around with some color on my lids. The only other one in here that is Something I would use as yacht, but again, it's kind of, it's kind of a boring, to me, it's kind of a boring, bronzy taupe. Like for me, this is all about color. But anyway, so that's the palette that I brought in to play with. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, now let's get into the singles. All right, so first off, we have ones that like art and single pans. We have... ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Catnip. And here is Catnip. It's pretty. I think this is a, this is a metallic. And another ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Arrow. So that one's more of like a red toned shade. Bronzy, that's very bronzy. We'll see if I end up liking that one. This one is Ultra Glitter. Okay. <laughs> and then this, the last one that's not like in a pan is the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat in the Brown Mauve Purple shade. So it's in this pot. And I think I need to add some duochrome Duraline to this. So here is what this one looks like. And I, you know what? I have paint in this. I need to roll another shade. Okay, Air Tam, Shine Fix Eyes and Curtain Call. That's an easy one to pull. Ooh, another Erin Tame one. I'm using one right now in Project 10 Uses. So here is the a little pot, Erin Tam. And here is the pigment. So pretty. Get some more on my hand, my finger. It definitely needs a glitter glue. So let me grab some. Yep, so there you go. It's so much better. Hmm, pretty. So now let me show you the singles that are in like pants, like regular pants. So I did combine them into a, just a, a palette. So I have this like Tarte magnetic palette and I combined it with the other singles that I'm working on. So first off we have 
the MAC eyeshadow in Swish. So it's this one here, pink. Maybe I shouldn't swatch all of these because we'll be here forever. Well, there's only 15 of them. And then we have the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Starry Eyed. Ooh. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I tried to hit pan in this previously. I did not um, make it. We have the MAC Matte Eyeshadow in Girly. So I don't know if I'll be able to get a good swatch of this one. This is a really nice, just, you know, beautiful crease shade. Oh yeah, that's a pretty decent swatch. It's kind of hard to see. You can see that. Really great for like either pink or mauve looks. Next up we have ColourPop Let Me Explain. Oh, I got too close. Let Me Explain. And this one I don't think, oh, I'm getting way too close. I don't think I've touched this one. Oh, that's pretty though. Pretty basic. I have the ColourPop eyeshadow in Heavy Glam. Hmm. We'll see about this one. I don't know. Hmm. Or maybe it'll be different over glitter glue. We will see. This is ColourPop Try Me. That was the one I was thinking of. Oh, wow. Again, we'll see how the purples are. They usually are a little bit patchy. It's a pretty purple though. Oh, this is a good one. This is Cleona Translucency. Hmm. Oh Lord. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Oh, this one is NYX Girl Talk. So I depotted this one so it's not in the typical like little clams they come in, you know. That's really pretty. It reminds me of ColourPop Let Me Explain. <laughs> oh. And so this one is interesting. This is MAC Pinked Mauve. It is a pigment that was pressed into a pan. So there was an Instagram Somebody on Instagram was doing that and you would reach out to them and she had all these pigments and you would tell her which ones you wanted and she would press them. So that's how I have this one. I'm sure it's prettier over a glitter glue, but ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> and we have Mac Just. This is someone I've had for a long time. I love it. I've purchased it before, but it's one that I've considered decluttering because I, I don't know if I still want it. So it'll be interesting to use. I think it'll be pretty over glitter glue, but we'll see. Two more. We have Luxie Beauty Bohemian. Ooh. And then lastly, we have, oh, I couldn't find the, like, no-name pigment in gray. I think I may have decluttered that because I think that that may have been something that I would have gotten rid of. So I re-rolled while I was looking for stuff, and I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in Vermeer. And I panned this last year in the Modern Renaissance palette. I feel like it's prettier in the palette than it is in the pan. Like the, the performance is better in the palette. Now, I wonder if it's better over a glitter glue because it's not as good. In the palette, it's like, bam, and you're like gorgeous on the eyes. And this just seems kind of lackluster. Yeah, it's better over a glitter glue. Much better. But still, I feel like it was way better in the palette, even even better than that. So that's kind of disappointing. Wow. 
Okay, so those are the eyeshadows I'm going to work on. This is going to be the longest video. Well, not the longest video I do, but you know what I mean. So I'm excited. I'm excited about all the eyeshadows I get to play with. We'll see how it goes. I think this is hysterical. I need to put in my, I mean, whenever I mix this up, I will no longer have pan because it needs, it needs Duraline. I, let me go ahead and swatch this for you so you can see. I mean, maybe it doesn't need, it kind of does, but it's not totally dried out. Yeah, it's not 100% dried out. It's not super emollient, but it works. It's better with your finger. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. But I have pan in it. That was part of my, well. Now it doesn't look like I have pan. <laughs> but I would, this isn't a project and my goal was to hit pan in it and I drilled down into the bottom, but now I've covered it up. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, that wasn't the point. <laughs> I'm confusing my projects. I'll roll this in. I'm so confusing my projects. Yeah, I just confused my two projects together. So I'll roll this in and we'll use it. <laughs> I need food. Okay. That's rolled in. Isn't that pretty? I need to go. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Hot mess express. <laughs> I'm so excited about all this eyeshadows. So excited. Hello. Ziggy's sleeping, but my big old noggin is covering him up. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna put on some earrings. Can you believe it? I need to buy new earrings. I have like onesie two, like I have onesies of like all these earrings. I need to get rid of them and then buy new earrings. Send help. Oh, Ziggy's like grooming Milo. Well, no, he's batting at him. <laughs> oh, oh, but you guys are play fighting. That's cute. Ziggy is so excited, and so is Milo. His tail is swishing like this. Oh, Milo. Milo has, like, gotten some cojones. Hey, guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I am here today to... I feel like that was a weird face. Like I said, the goal really was just to use... Now, there was one video, and I'd have to go back and look to see which one it, which one it was... Hmm. Wow. What is it? Hi. What are you doing? In some in conjunction with some of the looks I've been doing with like my pan those eyes like pan that palette. I need food. Okay, bye.